Welcome back to the tutorial on understanding agile, a common sense approach. Let us learn about test driven development or TDD in short. I hope you have already watched my video on SDLC. So tell me who writes the unit test cases? When do they write them? And on what basis? 95% of the programmers told me that they write unit test cases after writing the code and they refer the code as the basis for writing the unit test cases. Then what happens? They are the same programmers who have written the code, so they know what works. Later, when they write the test cases, the already written code becomes the basis for writing the test cases. Thus, the test cases are biased and they pass for sure. How many times have you noticed the programmers entering unit testing bugs in the bug tracker? Now you know what I mean. Let's understand the implication of this practice. Programmers eventually start skipping unit testing phase altogether since they don't see value in doing it. Let's understand the bigger picture. As discussed in the SDLC video, user acceptance test cases are actually written to validate whether the software has fulfilled the given use case from the requirement. So, acceptance test cases can be written immediately after analyzing the requirements. Similarly, the system and integration testing validate the system design and high level design respectively. So, we don't need the actual software when we write the test cases. In order to run the test cases, yes, we need the software, but not for writing the test cases, isn't it? In the very similar way, Unit test cases are created to validate if the low level design is implemented properly in the code. So the unit test cases can be written prior to writing the code since the basis for writing them is LLD document and not the code. Which also means that when LLDs and UTCs are thorough enough, then the job of programmer is to write just enough code to pass all those test cases. Thus, the development is driven by the test cases. Hence, it is known as test driven development or TDD. Let's understand the process with one example. Consider a simple method for the division of two numbers. In its simplest form, two basic test cases are written. Next step is to write the code. Programmer creates only the compilable skeleton of the method with no real logic provided yet. This code is written in Java language for the sake of this example. Do not worry if you don't understand Java language. I have kept it simple in order to understand intuitively. The TDD prescribes following steps. First, select the unit or method for development. Next, write a test case. In this step, we pick up the first test case from the previously created test case document. Let us declare two input parameters and one more that contains expected result. Then let us create object of class calculator and then invoke the divide method. Pass both the input parameters n1 and n2 and collect the actual result. Then compare the actual result with expected result. This last statement will result in pass or fail depending upon whether actual and expected results are matching. Next TDD step says run the test to fail. Sounds very obvious since there is no real logic inside the divide method, it is bound to fail. This is important step, I will explain why in my next video. Fourth step is to write just enough required code. So let's do it. Now let's execute the fifth step, run the test to pass. This time it will pass the first test case. However, our second test case is failing because it is still not implemented. So the sixth step in TDD says, repeat from the step 2 again for the next test case. Thus the development for the code is driven by the test cases. Sounds good coach, but I am not sure, I have never worked in this way. So tell me, how do you prepare for an exam in short time? What is your strategy? Well, I create a question bank from previous year's question papers. Take one question at a time. Study just enough to be able to answer that question and move on to the next question. So, that is the same strategy as TDD, isn't it? And you know how to apply already, you see?
But coach, what if I'm not able to predict all the test cases in the very beginning? Well, it is an iterative process. Add test cases to the test suite whenever you identify them. For example, say 70% of the cases you are able to identify from the LLD. And later, while writing the code or during integration, you may realize another 25% of the cases. And yet there is a possibility that you will end up adding remaining 5% while fixing bugs during UAT or later. But coach, won't it take more time? Well, if you want to do unit testing, then writing the test cases will take same time independent of when you write, before or after coding. However, if you are worried about testing frequently, then you should know this. Nowadays, the unit testing frameworks exist for all the primary programming languages. They do the job for you on click of a button. And most importantly, the efforts you put in the beginning for setting up the framework help you carrying out the regression testing at later stages. The regression testing is very important before every deployment in Agile to ensure that the new code has not broken any of the existing working code. But coach, will the TDD be suitable for complex software development? Okay, let me tell you an interesting story about how I was doing test-driven development without formally calling it so. You might be knowing Java Virtual Machine is something that allows Java developer to write applications without worrying about the platform. Do you know who writes the Java Virtual Machine? Many people think it is the Sun Microsystem, but in reality, it is written by device manufacturer and platform developers. While working on JVM development for a mobile handset manufacturer, about 15 years ago, I got to know that there are three types of people involved. First, the device manufacturer and platform developers who develop JVM software. Second, the Java application developers who write applications assuming certain standard functionalities on the JVM. And third, Sun Microsystem. The role of Sun Microsystem is to provide the API and validate the implementation. For validation, Sun Microsystem had given Java device test suite, which we had to run on the JVM code to check if API implementation was done as per the Sun standard. So as a developer, our entire development was driven by Java device test suite. Now, if the complex software like JVM can be written in test driven manner, I believe any other code can be written in this way. With the induction of TDD, the team may want to add extra column for specifying test cases before writing the code. What is BDD and how is it different from TDD? Tell me more about Agile Testing. Sure, let's discuss that in part 2 of Agile Testing.